Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Pai. Um, I just uh, recently import another car, which is this is this time. Uh, this one is another JZX. I I believe you guys probably seen that I have so many uh, JZX imported. Uh, this is probably the uh, fourth one I got. I think fourth or fifth one. <laughs> I don't even remember anymore. Oh, uh, but anyway. This one's a little bit different than the other car. The reason is, um, this is not just regular JZX100. This is JZX105. This is 1997. It just like uh, legal to import it like a few months ago. Actually, it was just legal on, on March. So basically, this is the, uh, uh, the latest car that I got it from the year Japan uh, because, uh, you know, because of the 25 years old law. You know, we um, we can only import it from the uh, the car of 20, yeah, like 96. Last year is 97 now, but right now it is uh, right now it's just the uh, March of 97. So any, anyway, so this is the uh, the reason I just said it's different is because this is a JZX 105, which is uh, a little bit different than regular JZX because of all-wheel drive system. This is the all-wheel drive Mark II. I'm sure it is really hard to find, especially right now, you know, um, the all-wheel drive car, um, and especially this is a JDM Mark II, and you know, you don't, you're probably gonna see a lot of JZX 100 in the United States now. A lot of people import it because of the popularity of Mark II, and a lot of drifting drifter people, you know, they love Mark II. So. Anyhow, uh, this one is all-wheel drive. That's why it said. Uh, Mark II Grandi 4 with 4 means it's, it's for the oil drive and um, I have this one for 11, 110,000 kilometer which is about 70,000 in mileage and this is pretty clean car this that's the um, uh, it looks like one owner uh, I have all the maintenance record here in, in, the, in, in the glove compartment of the car so I, I believe this is a well maintained car the only issue I have there's a little dent by the uh, uh, the the front wheel rocker panels. I don't know if you can see it. You see that little um, small dent. And um, I have a little one more dent on the other side too. Right? It's it wasn't like that from my ocean sheet. So I don't know if the ocean was lying to me or if something happened by the uh, at the port or something. I don't know. But overall, the great shape, car is a great shape. The, it's mechanically sounds very good. The transmission smooths very well. It was super nice driving. Pretty, um, I mean, even the, uh, look at that, you can see the, uh, the headlights are very clear. And uh, it, sound, it seems like the undercarriage has the uh, uh, rust proof painting. It, you know, it's rust proof paint uh, at the bottom. So you can see that it's you know, well painting the car. Anyhow, um, I was surprised. I was. I was kind of like. I, I'm very doubt that the the pot that I picked up has something to do with the dent, because I'm pretty sure like my car was in perfect condition when I bought it, and I got the pictures from Japan. I don't see those any uh, damage noted, or the or the uh, um, uh, in, not in the picture as well. See that here's on the uh, the one more dent by the uh, by the rear um, uh, panels. It's, I don't know how it's happened. It's no uh, scratch or no paint fadings or anything. Overall, the car was in great shape. Um, anyway, um, I will show you guys inside of the car pretty soon. But the, uh, yeah. Uh, it has aftermarket wheels though. It's not, I'm pretty sure it's not the uh, uh, original Mark II wheel. It's, it's nice, it looks pretty good. And, uh, and the tires are in pretty good shape also. So yeah, so see that, that's, that's the dent that I was talking about. Man. And the funny thing I have with this car is it has the, uh, the sticker. It's showing, uh, see that, here's that, it said good maintenance. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure the, the original owner has maintained it very well on this car. And those are the antenna. It has a um, Pioneer GPS TV, I think. Uh, I don't know how it works, so 
I haven't tried it out yet. I just picked up that car last week and uh, I just um, washed it today and I'm doing a video right now. So, all right, let's, uh, let's see inside. Okay. So inside is just like all other my cars. They are super clean and nice inside. And to be honest, I haven't even uh, vacuumed inside yet, but it looks very clean already anyway. So um, I'll do it later on today, but I just need to uh, do some uh, quick video review for today. So either way, um, yeah, uh, this is what is it. I, I don't see any stains or anything. So it seems it's pretty good shape. And I found that, um, the fan here too. Huh. Ooh, probably the owner play golf, maybe? <laughs> I'm not sure. But yeah, this is the original carpet. It has a Mark II logo on it. Let me show you in the back. It's just really nice inside there. I'll open the trunk and um, I'll, I'll I'll put the quick um, to drive in with this car and uh, yeah, that so far looks pretty good. Right. Yeah, this is I don't know what happened. I'm very disappointed with the uh, uh, the pot that I picked up. I'm sure they screw up somehow. So this one has an air purifier. So as you can see, there's like two unit of air purifier in the back. There's a button in the front. I'll show you that in a few minutes. And um, yep, same like the uh, other Mark II. It's a very uh, good soft material here. Everything is in like a soft touch and um, some um, wood trim style. And there's a speaker down here. I believe about six speaker system, but it sounds pretty good. And uh, here has an ashtray and uh, here if you pull it out and that's the uh, cup holder for the rear side you know this is the rear side let me see the front I'll start the car then uh, i will show you the um oh and the, the trunk also um yeah it has the wire chain stickers Oh, the, the, uh, the little strange thing that I found on this car is this button. I never seen that one before. It looks like that's the uh, oil chain reminder. Somehow I think it is. But yeah, um, it, it lights up too. Here. And uh, this is the, um, the power mirror retractable too. And it's uh, very good condition. Uh, power seat on the side, on driver's side. That's a, this is a tool pass, a uh, tool holder or something. And here, in there, this is the uh, the GPS TV thing that I was talking about. I'm not really sure how it works. And um, a CD player. It sounds pretty good. And there's a there's a button or actually not buttons. It's the uh, remote control. And uh, uh, this is. How it's open, cup holder, open like this, and here, and it'll open like on the top part, and, uh, and then you can open for more in there, and uh, you can move forward for the uh, um, armrest. All right, let's see. Let me start the car. It start right up, and. Uh, sound pretty awesome and uh, this is the climate control it's an automated climate control this is some quiet holder or something and uh, let me play some music here oh wait that's the uh, radio yep sounds really good and like I said it has 114,000 kilometers about like 70 70,000 miles so it's pretty um, low mileage car I'll show you in the trunk and the uh, show you the front uh, engine also Mark 
two granny foam. And the back is very clean. And here, the spare tires. This side, this side is uh, for the uh, car jack and other stuff. Very good looking car. This is the engine. It's a 1JZ 2.5 liter uh, inline 6. So when I got it, the battery was dead. So I replaced a new battery and then I found out hey, there's something to do with the alternator also. So I replaced a new alternator. And then you can sit down here. Yep. So new alternator, new battery. Very good clean car. I don't know if I can say clean because it's a little small little done here. <laughs> but yeah, overall a nice car though. Oh, you better tell you, see that? The glass, this glass has the color on it. It is originally battery color glass, I guess. I, I, I don't want to say it tinted, but it's kind of tinted. It has a color on it. So, yeah. Super nice car. Uh, the paint, very good condition. I mean, even though it has dent, there's no cracking paint or anything. Like here, you can see it. I think, hopefully, it should be easy fit. And I'm not selling like uh, a lot of money on this car. So if anybody interested, let me know. I'll give you the good deal on this car. Hopefully I'll get the uh, um, title pretty soon, probably in a couple weeks. But yeah, this is a car. This is the uh, JZX all we drive. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll upload more. I'm getting the uh, Raffle and Corolla uh, Sprinter wagon picking up tomorrow. So I'm gonna um, upload more video very soon. All right. Thanks for the watching, guys. Appreciate it. If you have any comments, any questions, message me, send me text, whatever you need. I'll answer it. Thank you.